In this video, we're going to handle a couple problems that involve graphing and writing equations of parabolas. First one is from number five from our homework, to tell whether the parabola faces up, down, right, or left. So we know that when we have y is equal to x squared, that parabola faces up. y is equal to negative x squared, that parabola, excuse me, faces down. When we have y is equal, excuse me, when we have y squared is equal to x, that parabola opens to the right. And we have uh, y squared or negative y squared is equal to x, that parabola opens to the left. So as we rewrite this equation, we have negative x squared over 7 is equal to y. So we take a look at the different possibilities and we see that in this case our parabola is going to open down. So y is equal to negative x squared Regardless of what the value is, a number is in the uh, denominator on the left-hand side of the equation, we're still going to have a graph that faces down. In the next problem, we're asked to graph this equation, identify the focus and directrix of the parabola. So we recall that our formula for uh, the focus is going to be either 4 py is equal to x squared, or 4px is equal to y squared. In this case, we have a parabola that opens up or down. In this case, we have a parabola that opens right or left. So as we look at this, we see that the parabola is going to open right or left because the y value is squared. So let's fill in the values for p. And once we have the value for p, we can figure out where the focus and directrix are. So I have 4px is equal to y squared. And that's my formula. And I have to relate it to this equation here, which is y squared is equal to 2x. So I can say 2x, let's use a black pen, 2x is equal to y squared. That's the equation. So what value of p do we have that makes this particular statement the same as this one? In this case, we can see that p must be a half, because 4 times 1 half times x is equal to y squared is the same as 2x is equal to y squared. So we know p is equal to 1 half. We also know that the graph is going to open to the right. So I draw, here's my x is equal to 1. I know that my focus is going to be right here at 1 half 0. And then I know that my directrix is the same distance along the axis of symmetry that goes to the vertex in the opposite direction from the vertex as the focus is. So in this case, my focus is a half a unit from the vertex to itself. So the directrix is also going to be our point on the directrix is going to be half a unit to the left or in the other direction from where the graph is opening. And I know that the directrix is perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. So my directrix runs right through this point, negative 1 half 0. And so my equation for the directrix is going to be x is equal to negative 1 half. So the directrix is not a point, it's a line. And any point between this line and the parabola is the same distance as the parabola to the focus. OK, in the next question, the book is asking us to write a standard form of the equation of the parabola with a focus of 5, 0 and the vertex is 0, 0. So in all these problems, we're dealing with parabolas that are parabolas that are going to have their center or their vertex at the origin. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to graph the points that I'm given. So the vertex is 0, 0. And I have my focus at 5, 0. Okay, based on 
where the focus is and where the vertex is, I can see that my parabola is going to open to the right. So I am going to have an equation that looks like this. x is equal to y squared. And I'm just going to put in 4p here because we need to figure out how the p, the focus, relates to the equation that we want to create. Well, we know that the location of the focus relates to the p-value, so I can now plug in 5 for p, because my x value is 5, and that's where my focus is. And 4, again, this is for parabolas that have their vertex at the origin. I can plug in that value of 5 uh, in for p, and I end up with 20x is equal to y squared. And that is the equation for the parabola of the vertex at 0, 0, and a focus, or the focus at 5, 0. Okay, last question, number 17. Book asks us to write the standard form of the equation of the parabola with a directrix of y is equal to negative 1 and vertex at 0, 0. All right, so again, we draw our x, y axes. We plot the points, the vertex again at the origin, and we'll talk about translated parabolas later. And my directrix is going to be at y is equal to negative 1. So this is going to be a line that goes through 0, negative 1. So I draw my line, which is my directrix. And I label this y is equal to negative 1. And I know that my parabola, my parabola is going to open up and away from the directrix. I know my axis of symmetry is perpendicular to my, uh, my directrix, so I know my focus is going to be on the x is equal to 0 line of the y-axis. I also know that the focus is going to be equidistant from the vertex as the directrix. So the directrix is one unit away from the vertex, or at least a point on the directrix is one unit away from the vertex. And so my focus is also going to be the same distance from the vertex as the directrix is. So I know it's one unit, and I have my point uh, 0, 1. So I know that the standard form of this equation is going to be 4py is equal to x squared, right? because y is equal to x squared represents the parabola that faces up. And I know that my uh, focus, my p-value is 1, so I end up with 4 times 1 times y is equal to x squared, or 4y is equal to x squared. And that is the answer to the question.